few people doubted my uh, fig tree fix um, where I basically took some chicken wire and put it around my fig trees then filled it full straw and uh, so I decided to tear part of it down it's about the middle of March now and even though we got a couple of days it's supposed to get down into like the high 20s uh, these fig trees will be all right uh, for a night or two of that so uh, let me show you looks good to me don't look like it was ever frosted I love when I make people eat their words so that right there is three different stems that I uh, uncovered just to show you this does in fact work. Uh, temperatures today we're in the mid 40s. We've had a couple days in the low 50s. Uh, this coming week after Monday, today's Saturday, but after Monday we're supposed to have a couple days in the low 60s. So I wanted to go ahead and start getting this broke down. Generally these don't come back alive until about toward the end of May, first part of June. But I just wanted to go ahead. I actually needed some straw for something else, so I wanted to tear the upper part down and use some of the straw for the other project. And uh, that's exactly what I'll do with that straw. That's exactly what I'll do with that straw over there on that other fig tree. I just repurpose it for in the garden. Um, I just use that straw from the top on top of this bed right here of asparagus and uh, I'll be using them on these other garden beds as I tear them down so uh, anyways I've been out here all day trying to get these blueberries um, taken care of pH adjusted fertilizer the asparagus taken care of the garden beds I didn't really get taken care of in the fall so I've been out here I tilled them under the other day I got some rabbit poop fertilizer on them and got them raked out today a couple of them is going to need topped off and uh, got all of my orchard pruned that needed pruned got all of my orchard uh, fertilized so it has been a busy 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 day to say the least got nice and dirty it got these um, where the soil settled in them I put some more topsoil in them these are the uh, I ain't that coming into focus here we go these are the uh, grow bags that I bought last year and uh, I used them and then I ended up the soil settled so I had to put some more soil in them um, what else did I do today oh yeah I got a fence tore down that used to separate part of the orchard it used to run kind of see where it tall grass is right there and some posts 65 feet of fence I tore down these posts right here um, mostly because I'm expanding this orchard this year over into the second part like I talked about last year but the cancer kept me from doing that so um, that's a leftover project from last year uh, comfrey starting to come up. I noticed in a couple of these beds. Let me find one. I'll show you real quick. It's easier for me to find. Here we go. See all these dead comfrey stems and then the green ones. That's comfrey right there. So they always die back. You know, this is how long they were last year. They always die all the way back, and then they come back in the spring. That's just part of it. I know I had a lot of people ask me on, like, 
Facebook groups whether or not they would come back. Yep, they'll come back. Like clockwork, you can't really kill it. Once you plant it, that's something to keep in mind. You really can't kill it. I'm sure they're all coming back to various degrees. I've noticed a lot of um, stuff starting to come alive in the orchard. Uh, pretty much all the tree, pretty much all the trees are starting to bud. Um, the elderberry starting to look pretty good. I see a lot of new stems coming up out of the ground. I see the existing ones are starting to bud. The gooseberry coming alive. Everything's looking good. Just got to prepare for that late season frost that will probably happen about toward the end of April, first part of May. Because that wipes out the fruit trees just about every year. Anyways, got a lot to get done. Tomorrow I'm just budding the goats, hopefully. Uh, try to get that recorded for you also. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share buttons. Click the bell if you want to be notified of new videos that I upload. I've been uploading a lot the last couple weeks. Going to stay that way for a couple more weeks. And uh, as always, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your homesteads.